All right, guys, in today's video, I'm going to be uh, explaining to you why your AC is sometimes blowing cold, sometimes hot. All right, so if summer comes around and you put your AC on and your AC is not doing its job, uh, you put on the AC, it blows cold. After half an hour, 20 minutes, whatever, so it starts to blow warm or cold or, or not. I don't mean by cold, I mean warm or hot or it just stops to work and hot air comes out through the vents inside, all right? So I'm gonna be explaining to you what can be the reason, all right? First of all, number one, your system is working, all right? Meaning your fuse, relay, AC compressor is engaging, all right? All the components are working, all right? Um, there could be seven or several reasons why it's not working, all right? I'm gonna give you a few reasons, all right? I came across this problem a lot of times, so one of the times, most of the times, if you look at, if you pop the hood open, guys, all right? First of all, pop the hood open. If you have a, like this is a Toyota CN, all right? If you see lines like this, all right? If you see uh, cellular lines like this, aluminum lines, there's a thin one and a thick one. It'll have a port like that. It'll have another port like that. This is the AC lines, first of all, right? And right down there is an AC compressor, right? And this line connects to AC compressor right down there. This fat little, uh, this is a suction line, all right? So pretty much, if you put your AC on and your line right here, you touch this line, is cold. It should be cold like an ice cube, right? On a hot summer day, you should have a moisture on it, just like a, on a cup of a water. You know, the water on the outside, uh, on the cup. Let's say you have a glass cup, and outside you have a, like a little moisture buildup. That's how this line should be. You should be able to like touch it, and the water should be there. All right, wait for some water. The other one is gonna be hot. All right. Sometimes this will be cold, and this will be hot. That's a problem, right? That could be low freon. Or your system is not it has a, like a restriction it could be a lot of things all right but anyways if you feel this line is barely cold it's like uh let's say you take out a cold water out of the fridge you leave it out for 20 minutes later it's it's still cold but not cold enough right like it won't numb your fingers it should if you hold on to it, it should numb your finger all right that just indication that your freon is low so pretty much what's happening is you put on your ac system the compressor comes and engages, everything is working pretty much, and it pushes the Freon into the system, but it needs Freon to come back around. So if there's not enough, I'll make it cold, and then I'll push in air, then you won't have anything. Most of the time, the compressor won't even engage if you don't have enough in there, right? So if your AC is blowing cold and then all of a sudden it dies and it comes back on, so it's like a 20 minutes, 30 minutes changing back and forth, back and forth. It'll start to work, stop to work. One of the reasons could be you're low on Freon. It could be a leak. It could be like a 10 year old car that you never service your AC system. It's probably just low, right? So charge it up. That should take care of that. Make sure you take it to a mechanic. Don't just uh, be like, okay, uh, it's cold. Um, I checked it, you push the port inside, it's true out pressure, no. It could be, a, it could have a, like let's say it could have 500 PSI pressure, that doesn't mean it's free on, right? It could be the, the expansion of that air inside, right? I came across that. Pressure was there, but it was air pressure, compressor comes on and everything, but was not making it cold, all right guys? So feel the line, and that's how you're gonna determine, all right? That could be one of the reasons. Another reason is it could be that your AC compressor is bad. I came across a Avalon, Toyota Avalon, it's a 2012. The AC will work and then it would just cook, cut off and no cold air, right? That was due to a bad AC compressor. The compressor was working, but once it heats up, it would, wouldn't make any more pressure till it cools off and then it starts to build the pressure again. So guys, look into these two things. These are the two main reasons. There could be other reasons. It could be a leak in the line. It could be a bad switch that's cutting it off. It could be a bad relay, guys. Most of these cars, if you go into the box here, they do have a relay called the magnet clutch relay. All right, if those heat up, they will stop. They will not engage and it will not work, all right? So just check your Freon 
I would even service it, you guys. If you haven't serviced it in three, four years, service your AC system because it does have oil in the system, all right? That compress compressor does need lubrication, all right? So there is oil in the system, and too much oil, it would cause a problem. Too little of oil, it would cause a problem. Too much of Freon, you know that little bottle you buy from AutoZone? If you buy that, too much of Freon pushing it in because you're not measuring it. I have a, you see that machine, that red machine right there? That's like almost like a $6,000, $7,000 machine right there, right? That's for the AC only. What it does is it sucks all the Freon, then it measures it. It weighs it how much Freon came out. And let's say every car has a capacity, all right? Sometimes you will find a sticker here somewhere. Like these stickers right here. This is for the um, emissions here. You have EVAP system right here. And uh, this is a Sienna, all right? Refrigerant, all right? All right there. This is a max 1.91 LB, all right? Minimum 1.65 L pound, all right? 1.65 LB. So if you go below minimum, minimum, it's not gonna work like it's supposed to. If you go too high, you're not gonna have good AC. It's gonna it's gonna probably throw a hot air all right guys so look into that and uh, another thing I want to tell you is if you're you should always feel the air coming if it's hot or cold that's just determining that your blower motor is working sometimes the blower motor cut off and people will complain or oh, the AC is not working the AC is working your blower motor is not blowing air because the job of the blower motor is to blow air that's all it does the system has to be cold, then it could blow cold air because the air just tra travels through cold, something cold, and the air gets cold and it comes in, all right? So look into that, guys. Thank you for watching my video. I hope this helped. If you have any questions, do send me a message, all right? So bye-bye.